In this video, we will discuss octahedral stresses and how to determine them. What are these octahedral stresses? So, when we choose the frame of reference along sigma x, sigma y and sigma z axis, a plane that is equally inclined to all these three axes, sigma x, sigma y and sigma z is called octahedral plane. Being equally inclined plane, our direction cosine nx equal to ny equal to nz and from relation nx square plus ny square plus nz square equal to 1, we get nx equal to ny equal to nz equal to plus or minus 1 by root 3. So, for an octahedral plane, by default, we can take nx equal to ny equal to nz equal to plus or minus 1 by root 3. Sigma octahedral, which is octahedral normal stress, that is one third of sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z. So, this is nothing but one third of L1. This L1 is nothing but stress invariant octahedral shear stress that is tau octahedral equal to root 2 by 3 into L1 square minus 3 L2 whole power 1 by 2 and L1, L2 are stress invariants. Now let us solve a numerical and here we are given a stress matrix 100, 0, 0 and 0, minus 40, 0 and 0, 0, 80. So to find the octahedral stresses for the given stress matrix sigma octahedral which is equal to one third of L1 which is one third of the diagonal elements so this is 100 minus 40 so one third of 60 so that is 20 units and now coming to octahedral shear stress tau octahedral equal to this tau octahedral can also be taken as one third of sigma x minus sigma y whole square plus sigma y minus sigma z whole square plus sigma z minus sigma x whole square under root tau octahedral equal to one third of 100 minus of minus 40 that is plus 40 whole square plus minus 40 minus 0 whole square and plus 100 minus 0 whole square so whole power 1 by 2 61.8 units so finding octahedral stresses is very easy when you are given the stress matrix so this L1 is nothing but the first stress invariant summation of the diagonal elements in stress matrix that is sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z and, and second invariant L2 is nothing but the determinant of 2 by 2 matrices. So 
this is the first 2 by 2 matrix and this is the second 2 by 2 matrix so that is determinant of sigma x tau xy tau xy and sigma y plus second 2 by 2 matrix sigma y sigma z tau y z and tau y z and the remaining third 2 by 2 matrix that is sigma x sigma z and tau x z tau x z so this is sigma x sigma z tau x z and tau x z so this l2 is second invariant and uh, coming to L3 the third invariant it is nothing but the determinant of a given stress matrix so L3 is nothing but determinant of given stress matrix in this way we can find the normal octahedral stress sigma octa and uh, sharing octahedral stress that is so, what the hell